I have a question that's been bothering me for a while. And this goes to um, the question is this. I'm a Christian and a libertarian. And in both cases, uh, I am not supposed to initiate force. I mean, my question is, at what point are you allowed to use force, defensively, of course, as a Christian or a libertarian? Now, this has bothered me for some time because obviously in the time we live, with the rise of radical Islam and, and just an uptick in violence that's just off the charts, it becomes a mathematical impossibility that you won't face a situation in which uh, violence is going to happen to you. And so what do you do? How do you prepare for that question ahead of time? Now, of course, there's been, a, a, you know, a majority of Christian men who have fought wars. And so, had they not fought those wars, we, uh, especially the United States, wouldn't even exist. So, you can see the problem here. And also, if you can't use force, you wouldn't be able to protect yourself or your family. Um, so you, you start to ask yourself at what point, or in other words, how far does it have to go before I'm allowed to use force morally? And I don't know. I haven't been able to figure that out. Um, of course, Jesus taught peace. And that's how he wanted his people to act. But what if you're protecting your wife and kids? Are you supposed to just let them get hurt? Raped? Murdered? I can't do that. So I'm really bothered because I don't want to defy God. And, and I also want to preserve my family. So it seems like a no-win situation. And just because you don't use force or you don't initiate force doesn't mean someone else won't do it to you. And at that point, what do you do? I, you know, every night I think about this and think about how time goes by, that situation seems to become more and more and more um, a real thing to worry about. Because at this day and age, um, you could end your find yourself in a bad situation, just going to the gas station and get some gas or just going to the grocery store to get some groceries. I mean, you don't have to be in any extraordinary circumstance. You could be walking down the street and something could happen. So it's a very real um, fear. And it's a very real moral question. You know, what can I do? What am I allowed to do? Of course, I don't want to ever have to do that. I'd like to live out my life and die peacefully in my bed. Never, uh, never doing such a thing and knowing that I can face judgment, knowing that I, I never took a life and I didn't initiate violence against anybody. But that doesn't mean that's how it's going to go. And so I'm really, really, it worries me a great deal. You see, because as we saw just today, there was a Muslim in New York 
Port Authority, who had a had a bomb, and it went off prematurely. It looks like, and got him more than it got anybody else. Or any any of a number of situations you could find yourself in road rage, um, just anything. And when that time comes, you can't you can't say, wait a minute, I got to morally think about this. I got to think about what my position is on this real quick. There's not time for that. You're going to have to act in a split second. I don't want that split second to ruin my life and my eternity. But then again, I can't let myself be harmed or killed or my family be harmed and killed either. So here's what I'm asking of my viewers or those who see this video. If you can comment and let me know, maybe you're a pastor or maybe um, you're a pastor, your father, whatever Christian denomination you are. Maybe you can help me figure this out. Or if you're a libertarian, maybe you can explain that position to me. How do you deal with this, this uh, situation? It's terribly worrisome. And so with that, I'll wrap up. But um, I like to thank everybody that... Uh, Follows me on Twitter. It's at Michael underscore Ray. That's my Twitter handle. And my website is michael-ray.com. So visit me there on Twitter. Actually, if you go to the website, it has a, a bunch of my contact information. You know, my Gab, my Twitter, my uh, so on and so forth. So that's the best way. So... But thank you all ahead of time, and uh, I'll try to figure this out.